Hey everybody. So I wanted to show you how we can make our dinosaur in the city. And maybe your dinosaur won't be in the city. Maybe he will be in outer space or under the sea. But I'm going to show you how to make it in the city. And I use a piece of my leftover piece of paper to draw my dinosaur. Can you see those simple shapes? There's my circle. There's my curvy triangle. One, two, three, four rectangles. This one looks like it wants to be a triangle, but then I put an oval on top and those zigzag triangles for his body. So he looks like he's walking through the streets of the city. And if you see a dinosaur walking down the street, whoa, that would be pretty weird considering they're not around anymore. I also used the crown that I was looking at from the artist Jean-Michel Basquiat. He has a picture of a dinosaur that you'd probably love to see. And he treats his dinosaur very special. He gives him a crown, telling us that he's very important to him. So let's go through those steps again. Here is my piece of paper. Oh, I was hoping to use the back because I wanted to, but I'm going to use a new piece of paper so it doesn't get confusing for anyone. And you can do your color. You could color your city or you could leave it black and white. I'm going to leave mine black and white because I think it really makes the dinosaur stand out. So I am going to start with my marker and I'm going to draw where I want the road to be. So my road is going to go here. It's like my horizon line. Remember way back when we talked about horizon lines? And I'm going to add those little marks on the street. Maybe I'll make some cars to go in my city. And then I'm going to think about the buildings. And so I'm going to start with my two lines like this. They're parallel. They run next to each other. And it's the beginning of a shape. What shape is it? Yeah, it's a rectangle. There's my first rectangle. I might make a door for my building, and it looks like a rectangle too. Now I can make it really simple and just make dashes to look like windows. I don't have to add a lot of details. I can if I want. I could add a chimney if I want. I could make another building right next door. It's gonna be looking like it's right next to it. This one's gonna be a little taller and skinnier. Then maybe here I'm going to make one that's wider and shorter. And maybe I'm going to make one that looks like it's a little bit behind the other one. Maybe there's one that I can't even see the whole part. It goes off the paper. Maybe there's one right here, like this, and maybe another one over here. Now I'd like to add some doors to all of them. The doors can be different. See how I made that a curvy line? Maybe my door is really wide. Maybe it has a handle on it. I could even decide if I want to make my windows more like squares. You get to decide what you want for your picture because it's yours. How many windows I want? Maybe this one's going to look more like a roof on a house. Maybe I'll add some more chimneys because I think they look interesting. And I could go back and just put in some windows. They don't have to be exact. Just the idea. This one I'm going to get a big door. Maybe I'm going to add a window right there. Maybe I'll put an X in the window like that. So that's my city there. And as I was saying, you can leave the background black and white and have your dinosaur walk down the city street. You can make him a crown to let everybody know he's so important to you, like the artist Jean-Michel Basquiat. You can color the whole background, but I kind of like the way it looks in black and white with the dinosaur on top of it. Certainly not the only way to do it, but one of the ways. I'm going to show you really quickly how to make a dinosaur, and it's not the only type of dinosaur. There are many. I'm going to start with a simple shape. So for me, I'm going to make sure I don't need the whole piece of paper, so I don't like to waste paper. I'm going to fold it in half, and I'm going to cut it in half so that in case I want to use it for something else, you don't need to use a whole piece of paper. So if you know that your dinosaur is not going to be as big as the whole paper, save some of that for later. So for me, I'm going to start with the body. It's going to be a circle. And I'm going to give him his four legs, or her four legs. Two, three, four, like that. And then I'm going to give that kind of curvy triangle for his tail. And then I'm going to make it look like it's going to be a triangle. And then I'm going to add an oval. 
for his face. You could add more. You could add his mouth if you want to. You can do it any way you want. And then I'm going to give him some spiky spikes on his back like that. Now, once I do that, now it doesn't look exactly the same as this, right? Each time I do it, it's going to look a little different. I'm going to cut out my dinosaur, just like I did last time. And I know there's going to be people who want to help you cut because it looks like it's hard, but it's really good practice for your hands. It helps you become better at writing because it makes your hands strong. It helps you feel confident because you figured out how to do it yourself. So try to do some of the cutting yourself. It's not always easy, but it's challenging and you're gonna feel so proud of yourself if you try. If after a while, like when you're cutting out the spikes, you go, oh, my hands are so tired. You can ask for a little help, but you definitely shouldn't let somebody do the whole thing for you. That's how we grow. That's how our hands get stronger. And you're gonna know that you can do it. Sometimes you wanna go in like this, that's okay. However you choose to cut off the paper you don't need. Sometimes I save this extra paper. Remember when we were doing mosaics? You could save them for that. You don't always have to throw it away. I keep an extra little bin just for my scraps. Because maybe instead of actually doing this, maybe from my scraps I could have found pieces to um, add. So it would be more like a collage dinosaur. All right, so that is the idea for our dinosaur. And you probably could think of other kinds of dinosaurs in this. I'm not a dinosaur expert, but I know a lot of people love them so much. Maybe your dinosaur has a longer neck. Maybe it has his arms up here. Maybe it doesn't have the spikes. But right now, if I add him to my city, maybe he has his dinosaur friend. Maybe they're meeting up for a chat in the city. Maybe he's the king of the dinosaurs. You get to decide. Okay, guys? Have fun. I can't wait to see your creations.